As the holidays approach, 10 News has learned donations are down for the Salvation Army. We found out about the decrease after airing a story about thieves stealing a red kettle filled with cash outside of Walmart in Lakeside. 10 News reporter Candace Crone with the community group now stepping forward to help. Since 10 News first aired the story about the theft, the Salvation Army has received numerous calls from people wanting to help, including the El Cajon Lions Club. Generous shoppers stuffed this red kettle with cash Sunday. The donations are especially important to the Salvation Army after thieves stole a kettle outside this Walmart last week, making off with close to $200. That's pretty pitiful. I don't think you can get any lower than that. The money was supposed to go towards providing a Christmas dinner for some 1,300 families in need. Making matters worse, donations are down 7% this year compared to last Christmas. The theft alone cost us upwards of $800 to $1,000. Uh, when we calculate the amount that was in the kettle, the cost of purchasing a new kettle and all the locks we've had to buy. After our story aired, the El Cajon Lions Club decided to donate the $200 stolen. Volunteers are also working in teams to keep a close watch on the kettles. Most of the time I have my hand on it. <laughs> so we're watching it very carefully. We don't want to see anybody walk away with it. Not on our shift anyway. With less money to help the needy this year, the charity has added extra shifts for the Red Kettle campaign and is relying on more generous donors to pitch in. We're down, but I'm hoping that people can give for the next few days so we catch up. Since the theft, the Salvation Army has bought 30 to 50 brand new locks for the kettles, hoping to keep thieves away. Reporting in Lakeside, Candace Crone, 10 News.